You don't mind if I come in, right? What do you want? I just want to make sure you're okay after the takedown you got from Rex at UV. You poured your heart out to him, right? Begged him to take you back. God, that must have hurt like hell to hear him say he's with me now. So you're here to just rub it in my face? Oh, Gigi, we're sisters. I care about you. You won. Okay. You didn't play fair, but you got what you wanted. My son's father wants nothing to do with me anymore. And yet you don't seem very broken up about it. What? You almost seem... actually... good. You got this glow about you. Salt scrub in the shower. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you got boinked. And I'll bet I know who did the honors. Okay, I want to get one thing straight. You don't call me, and you sure as hell don't give me ultimatums. Nobody forced you to come. Well, you made it sound like if I like didn't what? show up, he... Like I was going to tell Gigi you were lying? That the entire time that you were with Stacy, you didn't actually keep it in your pants like you let Gigi believe? Okay, but here... Here's the thing. Whether you were outright lying to Gigi, or you just happen to be like, you know, not mentioning this tiny little detail, it doesn't matter to me. You let Gigi believe that you never touched her sister. And you know otherwise. Dude, oh, oh my, dude. Don't even play that game with me, okay? You and I both know otherwise. And if you want to know how I know, it's because Stacy told me. What, and you're her confidant now? No. Stacy. <sighs> While Gigi was talking to you, Stacy came looking for me. She couldn't even wait to rub it in her face, and the bed wasn't even cold, only she couldn't find Gigi, so I was the next best thing. And you bought what Stacy told you. Rex, I've known Stacy for a long time. Long enough to know when she's blowing smoke and when she's not. And, uh, she was blowing smoke this time, was she? And you actually did her on the dance club floor. That's smooth, man. Oh, you That's son of a... That's it. That's all you get. How is this any of your business? Oh, you mean besides the fact that um, I was the one who discovered that Stacy wasn't donating her stem cells to Shane? Right. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Have a nice life. Dude, man, I'm trying to help you. Help me. Yeah, because... If Gigi hadn't been pouring her heart out to you that day, Stacy would have found her. And she would have told her you guys, you know, had sex. Gigi and I are okay. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever, until she finds out the truth. How? Are you going to tell her? Oh, oh, my God. What part of Stacy can't wait to rub this in Gigi's face don't you get? Look, I know Stacy. okay, her entire life, she's believed that she's been living in Gigi's shadow. Well, now she's won, okay? Big time. Everything that she ever wanted, she just got. All right, that's a bomb she can't wait to drop on her sister. This is a nightmare. Yeah, well, you know, I got... I got news for you. You don't contain this, you don't tell Gigi the truth, and your nightmare's just beginning. You just had sex. And I know who with. You do? Skylar. <laughs> Joplin? As in your Skylar? Not anymore. I moved on, and so has he, finally. He's all hung up on you. You have a one-track mind. So? I have a healthy sex drive. There's nothing wrong with that, no matter what Mom taught us. And Sky is awesome. Of course, I don't have to tell you. You already know it. <laughs> For the last time, I did not have sex with your ex. Oh, relax. What's fair is fair. Fair? You slept with my ex, I slept with yours. 